Hello my fellow Uyans and welcome back. Now that we are back on our regular schedule, let's just start with our weekly recap. In this week's episode we'll look at the games. Reaper by Hexage, Another World by .musas, Fallen World by Cool Tau Media, The Secret of Space Octopuses by Fusty Games, and Raiding Company by Tuukiyu. We'll start this episode with our game of the week, Reaper. Reaper caught my eye the minute it hit the store and never let go afterwards. At first, I wasn't sure what to expect, but man, is this game the whole package or what? The subtitle of Reaper is The Tale of a Pale Swordsman. Never have I read a more appropriate subtitle before. In Reaper you play as a little guy who was destined for more. You were born into a world divided by war between the Imperials and the Wildling tribes. The Imperials are the bad guys, they want to exploit nature for its resources and you need to protect the wilderness. So yeah, the story isn't all that difficult, but the game is. Trust me on this, Reaper is no walk in the park. Apart from the pretty steep skill level, you get fantastic graphics, excellent sound and very solid gameplay. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is the map overview. I hope Hexage will fix that or at least explain how to get into the shop again. I really need a better sword. Reaper costs between 299 and 499 depending on which version you choose. The versions differ between additional quests and items. The additional items and quests are worth it if you ask me. As a little bonus we also have one promo code to give away for free. Be the first to comment Nilly Willy in the comments and you'll get the full premium version for free. Let's proceed to a big highlight on Yuya and a game that I just had to buy. Another World, the 20th Anniversary Edition. Oh yes, you heard right. That game is 20 years old, actually it is 22 years old, but who's counting, right? Well ok, obviously this game isn't 20 years old, but the version we have in the store is an updated version of an old classic. The original Another World was widely successful back in the days of Amiga and MS-DOS and the updated version manages to capture the magic of this groundbreaking classic game title. Personally, I have never played Another World when it was released. But I have a knack for playing old school games and so it's no surprise how quickly this new version caught my attention and money. The style of this game is cinematic without any on screen tutorial or even a user interface. Actually that is what's so amazing about this game. You still have to find stuff out on your own without being spoon fed the solution. At a very early point I didn't find the next step. And in all my shame I have to admit that I had to consult a walkthrough because this game is so hard. This game is only for grown ups and challenges you at every corner. I just love it and highly recommend that you invest the 3 dollars which is a special launch price. Next in line is Fallen World. Fallen World is kind of a button measure and a good one at that. The story is set in an apocalyptic world where humanity is threatened by evil robots and you are guarding the last hope, a human computer virus that has the power to destroy all of the evil robots. Your role as humanity's last guardian angel sounds harder than it is because Fallen World has very cool graphics and a nice soundtrack which makes your job much easier. The controls are very responsive and intuitive as well. Fallen World can get a little bit repetitive, but until then I'm sure most of you will enjoy this game. The Secret of Space Octopuses is a really cool platformer and unbelievably trippy. I knew of Space Octopuses before it came to the UIA since it had been released on other systems before. I was really hoping that it would come to the UIA and here it is. The most striking feature has to be the humor that drips out of every corner of this game. I mean, who hasn't heard of space octopuses before? Oh, and the protagonist of this game is a little boy who's controlling a self-made robot. That robot can absorb material and recycle it into usable boxes like boxes out of slimy glue. If that isn't creative and funny, then what is? Also have a look at the graphics. The eye for details is just marvelous and proves that this game is no run of the mill copycat game. This game is something that was made with passion and dedication. 
Go and get it. Excellent addition to the shop. Unlike Space Octopuses, Raiding Company came without much publicity to the Uya. I have no idea why, because Raiding Company is a pretty cool single or multiplayer game for up to 4 players. Your job is to raid all graves and find any valuables left. Oh, and of course, these graves are protected by monsters such as mummies and others. The controls confused me a little bit in the beginning. I had no idea how to shoot. But you just have to push the right analog stick into the direction that you want to shoot. Apart from that, I really enjoyed playing Raiding Company. It's too bad that only one level is unlocked, because I actually would have liked to play another level before deciding whether I wanted to buy this game or not. Other than that, I think Raiding Company is a good addition to the multiplayer games pool. I will give this one another shot next time I'm having an Ouya party. Should be fun. So we are at the end again already and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. See you next week at this place with our weekly recap.